When we talk about SpaceX, most people immediately think of Falcon 9 landings or Starship test flights. These rockets are big, loud and flashy, making them impossible to ignore. But there's another SpaceX spacecraft quietly performing some of the most complex jobs in orbit. The Dragon Capsule Dragon has been ferrying cargo to the International Space Station, or ISS, for over a decade. And recently, this unassuming spacecraft accomplished something that was once considered nearly impossible for a commercial vehicle. In this video, we'll explain exactly what Dragon did and why this mission is changing how the ISS operates. Before we dive in, hit the subscribe button to stay updated on space missions like this. Only two decades ago, SpaceX didn't exist. Founded in 2002, it was a small startup with no rockets in orbit, no government contracts, and no proven track record. By 2008, the company was on the brink of collapse. After three failed Falcon 1 launches and the global financial crisis, Elon Musk admitted that they had only one last chance. If that launch failed, SpaceX would have shut down. In September 2008, Falcon 1 succeeded, reaching orbit and becoming the first privately funded liquid-fueled rocket to do so. Soon after, NASA awarded SpaceX a $1.6 billion contract to deliver cargo to the ISS, effectively saving the company. Today, SpaceX isn't just launching rockets. It's critical to orbital infrastructure, a fact highlighted by Dragon's latest achievement. During its recent mission, the Dragon capsule fired its thrusters for over 19 minutes, raising the ISS's orbit. To put this into perspective, the ISS weighs roughly 420 metric tons, making it the heaviest object ever assembled in low Earth orbit. Changing its orbit requires precise thrust and sustained engine operation. This burn was Dragon's fifth reboost on this mission, with one more planned before it undocks and returns to Earth. Over roughly five months, Dragon will perform six reboosts in total. Why are reboosts necessary? Even at 400 kilometers above Earth, the ISS encounters atmospheric drag that slows it down, causing it to lose altitude. Without regular reboosts, the station would eventually re-enter the atmosphere. On average, the ISS drops about 100 meters per day. Reboosts aren't optional. They are essential to keeping the station in orbit. Historically, about 80% of International Space Station reboosts were handled by Russia's Progress spacecraft. These vehicles were crucial for orbital maintenance. But as geopolitical tensions grew, reliance on progress became risky. NASA faced a pressing question. How to maintain the ISS without Russian support? Dragon is now providing the answer. Dragon's size and capability are honestly pretty impressive. The cargo Dragon is roughly 4 meters in diameter, and with its trunk section, it reaches a total length of 8 meters. Fully loaded, it weighs about 12,000 kilograms, yet it is performing propulsion work on a structure 35 times its mass. Dragon can carry up to 6,000 kilograms of cargo to orbit, half pressurized inside the capsule and half in the trunk. It can also return up to 3,000 kilograms to Earth making it the only active cargo spacecraft capable of bringing experiments, biological samples and equipment back safely. Unlike Progress or other supply ships, Dragon does not burn up on re-entry, thanks to its heat shield and parachute system. Reboost propulsion system is another key feature. Dragon's reboost capability comes from the trunk section, equipped with a dedicated propulsion kit separate from its main thrusters. This includes two Draco engines positioned to fire opposite the station's travel direction. Each engine produces 400 newtons of thrust, totaling roughly 800 newtons. The engines use hypergolic propellants, monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide, that ignite on contact, increasing reliability. The system is independent from the capsule's main fuel, allowing Dragon to perform long burns without affecting docking 
or deorbit fuel reserves. During the December 29th burn, Dragon increased the station's velocity by about 9 meters per second, or 20 miles per hour, which is enough to be considered a major orbital adjustment. Across the mission, Dragon will handle between 25 and 33 percent of the ISS's annual altitude maintenance. Falcon 9 makes it all possible. All of this hardware reaches orbit via the Falcon 9, a two-stage rocket standing 70 meters tall. In expendable mode, Falcon 9 can deliver up to 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit and 17,000 kilograms when reusing the booster. This payload margin allows Dragon to carry extra fuel, propulsion kits and mission-specific hardware comfortably. Falcon 9's reusability is critical here. With over 300 launches, a success rate above 98% and routine booster recoveries, Falcon 9 makes missions like Dragon's reboost possible while keeping costs relatively low at $67 million per launch. Why does Dragon matter? Well, if a spacecraft isn't reliable or its launch system isn't proven, the mission can still fail. Boeing's Starliner program kind of demonstrates this. Its first uncrewed test flight in 2019 failed, the second in 2022 had thruster and thermal issues, and a 2024 test showed multiple propulsion problems. Astronauts had to stay aboard the ISS months longer than planned, eventually returning on Crew Dragon instead. Dragon, by contrast, performs flawlessly, demonstrating that commercial spacecraft can now handle critical ISS operations, including altitude maintenance, without Russian spacecraft. Dragon has quietly redefined the role of commercial spacecraft, showing that capsules can be both cargo carriers and propulsion workhorses, all while returning safely to Earth.